Saturday Social is powered by EA Sports FIFA 23 with PlayStation. Yes. Uh, the knockout stages are upon us. The group stages have finished. The first knockout game starts today. So perfect timing for us on the show today with the help of the Saturday Social whiteboard there. Look As you that. can see, we've got every single knockout game, all the last 16s. We're going to get our guests to agree on every single result for the knockout. So all the last 16, the quarterfinals, semis, final, and we want them to then give us their eventual winner. Um, they've got to agree on all these. What, what happens if they don't agree? Uh, I will decide. We'll, we'll decide. decide. And I have to say, the last time we attempted to do predictions on this show, <laughs> it went badly. <laughs> it went oh, really yes. badly. So you guys <laughs> yeah. got some pressure on you tonight. That's, yeah, tonight, today. That's not good. I kind of called Serbia to be the dark horses <laughs> of the tournament, and they yeah. unfortunately finished bottom there of the group. So I, went I went Denmark, you went Europe. And I went so Uruguay. <laughs> 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 uh, right, OK. So the first game in the last 16 is the Netherlands against USA. That is today. Guys, how do you see that one going? We spoke about it before mm. the show. Um, see, I'm 50-50. But for some reason, I'm, I'm all about shocks. And I just feel like the US and they have got something going on. Against England, I just saw something that I felt like, you know what, you go semis at least. So you said the US and they, which yeah, one are getting them. forward? Um, <laughs> I'm going, to, I'm, I'm going for USA to beat uh, Netherlands. OK, do you agree? Oh. No, you can't say that. Unbeaten in, in the group, Frankie de Jong, who could be ill, is the only thing I'd say. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Illness through the Dutch camp. Sweeping through the Dutch camp. Cody Gakpo as well. Three goals have been in great form, hasn't I he? I think that's one player that changes this game for me. 32 games this season for club and country, 18 goals, 18 assists. The guy is just playing in the form of his life. Mm. I feel like every touch at the moment results in a goal. So I'd say he's going to be the difference in this game, Specs. So I'm going to go Netherlands. Yeah, but we saw against England, USA's midfield. They know how to stop players. They stopped Declan Rice. So they can stop Frankie de Jong. Yeah, and I have to say, there is a bit of pressure on Christian Pulisic's injury. It was, I mean, it was, yeah, not a pretty injury, <laughs> yeah, was it, in so the moment? That he'll be fit for Saturday yeah. the afterwards. So, again, there's a couple Painfully. of players that were sweating on the fitness of. Uh, we need a decision, which is uh, game one. They're disagreeing. <laughs> <laughs> you're going USA, you're going Netherlands. Yeah. Is there any backing down from either of you there? I'm not going to back down. I mean, George Ware is, George Ware is the president of Liberia and his son's playing, so... <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to back down, <laughs> Dave? Lou Van Gaal, you can't. You know, wow. We want to so see Lou Van Gaal going through the tournament, getting the red wine out. We'll see clips. It'll be beautiful. OK, it's up to us, then. I like Spexy shout of the Americans. Do you? Yeah. Wow, OK, Thank Joe's you, called it. I want to see as many shocks and upsets as Thank possible you. in this. And I think so that US could <coughs> one. Going through. Wow, OK. It's a big call. Three o'clock today, I think, that one is. So keep your eyes on that one. It is. Yeah, absolutely. Let's move on to the next one, then. And I know you love Argentina, Dave. Yeah. I think they're favourites by a country mile for me. I think the knockout Ooh. stages is where they're going to really get going. They've had um, around 67% of the ball so far in the tournament in possession. That is not their style. When they're at the best, they're aggressive. They're counter-attacking. They play through and then they'll counter-attack through Messi. So I think if you take the, the Copper America final, they had 41% of the ball against Brazil and they opened them up a number of times, won the game uh, with Angel Di Maria goal. I just feel like as the knockout stages come through, I think Australia's going to be a test because they've got to build, they've got to play through. But as soon as it goes to kind of the, you know, the big dogs, I think they're going to start performing. Specs, what have you made of Argentina? Because obviously they had that shocker mm. opening day against Saudi Arabia. Yeah, that was that was that was a shocker. Um, I just can't see Australia doing it. Um, I mean, uh, there was I did, I did a video. I wasn't sure if Australia existed at one stage. So <laughs> yeah, I'm going for Australia to go out. Yeah, I've been quite <laughs> impressed by Australia. There has to be said, given that they were expected to finish like stone bottom of the group, some massive Big results. That. You know, Big Harry Suter, yeah, yeah, Harry especially, I think we should be shouting out. It's been absolutely awesome at the back for them. Yeah, yes. Uh, playing for Stoke City, so I think. To even get to this stage, yeah, it's a big achievement. It's pretty impressive, but yeah. But we're all in agreement. You think Argentina? Yeah, I think it's going to be Argentina. Argentina going okay, let's move that. straight on to the next one. Japan against Croatia. Now, Japan very good in the group stages against Croatia. Croatia probably be his favourites, but I don't think there's a lot in this one. This will be an interesting game. How do you see it unfolding? I think with Japan, obviously, they've done supremely well, you know, on the counter-attack. They're averaging, what, around 17% possession against yeah. both Germany and, and Spain. Yeah. That just can't continue the XG, or ex-Germany, should we say. They've been dumped out, but their XG was 10 in the group stage, yeah. more than the other side. I think the look's going to swing, and unfortunately, I think Croatia looked like a very good team. The one concern I had with them was their forward line. They've yeah. got the midfield. I think Gavardiol at the back is one of the best young yeah. centre-backs in world football. They needed that attack, and it feels like they found balance. Perisic looks very good on the left, so I feel like... Croatia could go on a little bit. Solid of a run. in midfield, and that three in midfield, <laughs> Croatia. Brozovic, Kovacic, Modric. Modric yeah. I, tr I trust Maya Yoshida to stop Croatia's attack. I think speed will win this game, and you know Japan like to bring on Asano, which uh, we once called the, the Japanese Vardy. 
So um, <laughs> I'm going for Japan to win this game. Going for Japan. Are you? Ooh, Another wow. one? Yeah, I think, I, think they, they, I think they'll go far. It's Do interesting wow. because Japan, of course, so many upsets in that group stage. That group especially, yeah. was probably my favourite group at the tournament. Don't wasn't they, it? they won the group I know. that Spain and Germany mm. were in. You know, credit to them. I, th- I think and this would be very Spain tight and game. Germany. Yeah. So they've got a proven record of knocking out the bigger sides and the teams <coughs> that are going to dominate the ball, like Croatia will. But I think it's, this is a different midfield, isn't it? You know, Kovacic is in, in supreme form in well, the tournament. they're playing against Pedri, Gavi, Busquets, mm. maybe the best midfield. No, I, I agree with that. I just feel this Croatian team know what to do in this level. You think about the, the got to the final last time in the World Cup. They're, it's almost they're, they're sort of ticking into that workman like, we are going to beat you. We need a decision. Got to be going Croatia for? specs, come on. I just, there's something about Japan. They beat the, they beat the Giants, why not? We gave, we gave you the US specs. I think we're going to have to go Croatia for Dave just to balance it up. Balance it up a bit. OK. Just to balance it up. Next up, huge story last night. I know. South Korea, Joe. Wow. I know. What a turn uh, that was. the scenes as well. Oh, Lovely brilliant. scenes. Song brilliant. crying on the pitch and mm. stuff. But is this a game too far? I think so, yeah. There's got to be, hasn't it? Yeah, I mean, Brazil's bench, uh, they just... You know what I mean, uh, you look at the bench, I feel like that team can win a World Cup. They yeah. did the business last night against Cameroon, though. Uh, yeah, but I mean... <sighs> Again, it was the, they played a second team. And they so were playing against the forward that's better than Mohamed Salah and Boubacar, who it's confirmed, <laughs> like, is superb. <laughs> the first man since Zinedine Zidane yeah, to get I mean, sent off in a World Cup uh, and score a goal. Like, I mean, the, guy? the way he uh, celebrated that, my family thought that Cameroon qualified. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> did you see the ref as well? The ref, the ref almost didn't want to send him off. Did you see that? Yeah, he should have done. He should have apologized. Sorry, the letter of the, letter the lawyer had to. <laughs> OK, so that's an easy one. Quick one. Brazil. Right, we move on to the next side. So that's one half of the draw. These are the teams in the other half. First up, England against Senegal. Massive game mm. tomorrow. Um, what are you going for, Specs? I mean, oh, wow! <laughs> Senegal through. <sighs> you, you think, genuinely think Senegal beat England, yeah? I need, I need one African team to go through. Let's least. not laugh too much because I don't want to jinx it. I don't want to start. No, yeah, no, it'll be a tricky yeah. game, yeah. No, I think but, let, let, let you explain why you think, because you picked the Magna up very quickly, so why do you think, think England are England under pressure. I feel the pressure's on England. When, I'm, when England under pressure, I don't feel like they perform. No, like, Senegal have nothing to lose. And the Kulabali and Diallo defence, I think, is so solid. People are not talking about that. You yeah. know, so. Mendy and goal as well. Mendy and goal. But Idrissi Gay banned. Oh, that's a that's, big, big that's what hurts because yeah. he's been very creative for us. No, I think that's the side like set pieces, mm. corners, free kicks, which mm. you don't expect from him. He's yeah. put in some good good balls. I think the side of it with Senegal, they'll block off Declan Rice as well, which the USA did did to stop England playing out the back. So it's going to be a tough game. I really think it's going to be a tough game for England. But with Rashford, Foden, Grealish. Saka, it's there's so much quality. Yeah. Sterling, I mean, you know, the, the, the width and the wide areas, I think, is where England will catch Senegal out. Senegal got caught out a few times against Holland playing out through the back. Mm. I think England, if they catch them there, that's goals. Which two would you start in those wide areas for England? Because that is the debate, really, isn't it? It has to be Rashford and Foden for me. Ah, Rashford I think and Foden, yeah. right, right now, yeah. Rashford's got to be, you know, yeah. top joint top scorer at the World Cup. You've got to be starting him. He's a player in form. You have to play him. Simple as that. Wouldn't change Harry Kane. I think Harry Kane's played well yeah. through assists in the tournament. I think sometimes forwards are get a bit, you know, of criticism for not scoring, but it, his, his build up play is fantastic. So, Three assists. No one's no, got the highest amount of yeah, assists in the tournament. You know, and I think at times, yeah, look, against USA, you wanted some pace at, you want Callum Wilson to stretch the defence, open up the space. Yeah, make that change, but that doesn't say that Harry Kane couldn't play number 10. Mm. There's options there for England. I think England have got too good a squad to maybe not go through. Do you think England this win game. this one? We've yeah. got to put England up, surely, haven't we? If it's if it's the disagreement. Um, yeah, don't count out Ismail Sar. Ismail Sar is. Yeah. He's got nothing to lose. No, no. All right, let's make a decision on this one then. I you're think saying, England, 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 England. I'm only going to put England because Ghana, he's, uh, he's suspended. <laughs> yeah. So. Okay, England, England squeeze through. <laughs> yeah. I didn't want to do this, yeah. All right, there we go. Okay, next big game: uh, France versus Poland. Mm. Now, France have been good, but you were saying pre, pre-show that there are a little bit of cracks yeah, in them. I think there could be. I think there could be. They, they, were, they were very poor in the last group game. Mm. Camavinga Nine at last changes, back. Nine changes, though. Didier so I don't know what he's thinking. These types of changes is why you get a bit concerned. On the flip side of that, you've got France, who've got Giroud, Griezmann and Mbappe back, which seems to be the, the most settled front three players <coughs> or the most settled attacking unit because they, they work well together. Yeah, I, I have to I say I've been that. incredibly impressed 
Mbappe, right, by the France way. And Mbappe. S some of the little phases of play he's had and the movement he's had. His but feet also just Griezmann. Been unbelievable. Like, yeah. Just so, so important so, the way so that um, France play. Specs, what do you, Specs, what do you think? Need, think? need a magnet on the board? I think Mbappe will score five goals in this game. Five? <laughs> Chesney's been in the form of his life. He's made nine saves. Welcome to Mbappe. Welcome to Mbappe. I think, you think France go through yet? Big, big win, big win. But, but, no, 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 don't take the magnet for that. We've been doing this for seven minutes, Specs. You can't be confused now. Come on, we're glasses, remember? Good point. Uh, next up, Morocco against Spain. Now, don't forget, Morocco tops the group with Croatia, Belgium and Canada. Seven points, two wins and a draw. Only us and Morocco finished on seven points, I think, didn't they? They did, yeah. I, I, I love Morocco. I love how they play. I love that they've got some top quality footballs in Hakim Ziyech. It's just a joy to watch oh. him again. Oh. It feels like such a shame that he spent the majority of his Chelsea career playing on the bench because yeah. he's got so much talent. Mm. The, the assist in the second group game, the step over, beautiful, his goal in the... You know, a little bit fortuitous, but a great goal. I think you've got Hakimi, you've got Matsurawa, you've got El Nasiri. You've got some players there that could cause Spain problems. Like, you think Rodri's playing centre-back at the moment. Yeah. Mm. Can that last? Spain very tidy in the middle, though, aren't they? Gavi, Pedri. <laughs> very, very tidy. Like I was looking at the possession stats as well. and they're, they're, Even the games they've lost, the, the game they lost, it's like they still dictate play. So, I think you expect them to have a lot of the ball. How do you see this one unfolding? Yeah, space? Spain will have 101% possession. <laughs> <laughs> Morocco are winning this game. Morocco go through. Morocco, yeah, Morocco go through. through. Yeah, I think Morocco are the. I think they will. The the African team will go the furthest. Ooh. I think they have been really impressive. So you're going Morocco. You, yeah. you, you would. So you, you, you're you're with me. I know you're, you're with me. On the I, I, no, because I, 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 I do Ooh. like Morocco, but well, at the same, shocker, then. same time, Spain breaking the passing stats as you mentioned. 204 passes, uh, Rodri completed against Japan, the most ever in a World Cup game. Mm. They're gonna hold the ball. It's whether, like, Morocco sneak a goal early doors. They've shown that they can hold on to a lead. Ooh. There we go. This is a, I mean, you two sound like you into it. Wow, so, you're going Morocco. But then at the same time, Luis Enrique is probably one of the best coaches at the World yeah. Cup. So mm. I just, And you are going to look extremely foolish if Spain go on to win it. I would go Spain. Is it? Even though you know you will take a Morata. I'd, I, yeah, but then, what? He's been directly involved in four goals at the World Cup. Same as Mbappe, same as Bruno Fernandes. Number one. I think you... I love the idea of Morocco going through. I want Morocco to go through. I think it'd be a brilliant story and it'd be fantastic, but I just think... If Morocco win this game, make sure you call me. <laughs> you can see it. You can see it. You can see it. OK, okay last, last, last 16 game. Uh, Portugal versus Switzerland. Switzerland, who have been really, really impressive, I think, so far this tournament, particularly yesterday. Mm. It's just a bit of magnet trouble. Yeah, there, there is. That looks like it can fall Spain off any moment. moment. Maybe uh, it's not Spain's year. Port <laughs> Portugal as well, though. <laughs> Bruno Fernandes is <coughs> great. He does look very, very good. Two goals, two assists. He looks like he's flying. Whose goal was it, though? Ronaldo. There's a lot of debate, wasn't it? Ronaldo they Bruno. got snicker out, didn't they? they I, I know, think that's yeah. ball sensor. <laughs> Everything's fine. They don't mess about with this anymore. Ronaldo tries to claim it. No. Um, but I think the big thing with Portugal, if they want to win the World Cup, they've got to drop Ronaldo. Simple as that. You know, the amount of big chances oh, he's oh. missing in these games, you've Doesn't got to start him. for you if they want to win the World Cup. Yeah. If they want to win the World Cup, they've got to go Andre Silva or they've got to go Rafa Leal. Either player. What reasons do you... I know that he does split opinion in terms of the way that Portugal play and Man United have had this debate, but for you, what are the reasons behind why they have to drop him? There's a decline. There's a decline with Cristiano Ronaldo. We can't ignore it. Like, from watching him for Manchester United this season, he's got worse and worse and worse. He's got a conversion rate of 4% in the Premier League. Fred's is better. That alone as a statistic is a reason why Andre Silva should play as a number nine for them. They, I think Bruno Fernandes as well is better without Cristiano Ronaldo. And Bruno is having a tournament of his life. You want him to be the one that goes and really carries them through. Against Switzerland, they, they should have enough against Switzerland, saying that Switzerland have been impressive. Mm, they, they, really they dropped impressive. Croatia, uh, Serbia out, sorry, which obviously I was back in, so I was a bit upset about that. I feel a bit bitter about that, although I've got a Swiss grandma, so it's convoluted, <laughs> to say the least. But okay. I think it's Portugal in this game without Ronaldo. What? Bex? Without Ronaldo, Switzerland are going through. Portugal need Ronaldo. I saw Ronaldo, they, they, they came out of the tunnel to warm up. He was first, telling everyone to come. That's leadership skills. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That, you need, is it they completely yeah. disagree on Ronaldo. <laughs> Get him as assistant manager. If saying? Ronaldo's not starting, Switzerland are going through. If Ronaldo starts, Portugal are going through. He's definitely going to start, so you're going to have to put Portugal going through. There's no way Ronaldo's not starting yeah, this game. Yeah, he'll start that. Absolutely, you've got to drop Wow, it. But doesn't that show the, this, the split opinion of Ronaldo now? Completely disagreement for the guests, but they're both ultimately putting Portugal through. Let's move on to the quarterfinals then. What I think about this is, there's not an easy half, half of the draw. All the big teams seem to have been kept apart. It's a fascinating World Cup, this, isn't mm. it? In, in, in previous years, there's been the so-called easier side, which is, a lot of people say there's no easy games in knockout stages, but there have been tougher sides to draw. You look at this and it's <coughs> completely split, isn't it? I think one team, though, 
pretty decent run to the semis. Australia, America, or Australia. Is that an easy one for you? If that's an easy one, do we put Argentina? I think Argentina beat uh, beat USA. Yeah. I don't think they've got enough to deal with Lionel Messi. They've got energy and mid legs in midfield. I'll give you that. You know, Moose has been fantastic. Adams have been good. Put him up then. McKenny's been good, but Argentina. Yeah. Enzo Fernandez in midfield. And the false centre back. <laughs> are we going to see? Are we going to see a South American semi final? Yeah. Where Brazil go through against Croatia. Yeah. Just too to much be. for him in there. Has to. Croatia. I mean, yeah. Croatia, Japan. I think probably Neymar's back to his fitness yeah. by, by that stage as well. I think this would be where they'd be potentially Croatia going through in this game. What? Do you? I think they're in midfield. Beat Brazil. That's what I, I, I think. If we're looking at one upset <laughs> in these games, this will be the one. Specs. You're saying Croatia will beat Brazil with Modric in midfield? Absolutely. Like Brazil, they have Fred. Yeah. Bruno, <laughs> yeah. Casemiro. Fabinho, Casemiro. <laughs> Fabinho, Bruno, Guimaraes just sat on the bench. If Bruno Guimaraes starts, easy win for But Brazil. this is the thing about Brazil. This is why they win the game. Because if they, if they start, let's say they start Fred and Casemiro. Yeah. And they're not playing well. They just bring on Bruno G. No, no, I get that. Yeah, no, I Fabinho. get Fabinho, Fabinho, yeah. yeah. That. So it's that's what bad. wins Strength the game. Strength and depth. subs. Yeah. Lucas Paquette has been really good yeah. as well. So. I think, no, I think we go with Brazil. But I'm yeah. just saying that that, would, oh. that wouldn't surprise me with Croatia. Okay. England against France. A lot of people talking about this prospect. Now, this is so hard to call for me. Two top teams. How do you see that game going? England versus France. There'll be a pitch after the game of Rashford touching Mbappe's head again. <laughs> <laughs> like he was at PSG. Yeah, I just think if, this, if they meet, I think England, as the underdogs, they take it, they win. Really? I feel, I feel like... Do you think Kyle Walker can do a job on Mbappe? 100%. Why not? Kyle Walker's faster, in my opinion. Because that has been the chat, hasn't it? It's like that the, everybody is saying he's the perfect foil to Kylian Mbappe. But is that the case? Do of we course. actually see that? He's played there for City player, PSG, Carl, hasn't he? And he's, yeah. he's kind of contained him. It, it's a difficult one. As you mentioned, Mbappe is just in ridiculous form. Mm. He's creating 10, 11 shots per 90, yeah, which yeah, I mean, is unbelievable. <laughs> but you could crazy. say the same thing the other way around, couldn't you? I mean, yeah. Foden, Saka, Sterling, Kane, they've got the same issues that we have dealing with. Our, our England's front line, the options that England have, I think yeah. is phenomenal. I think France is as well, don't get me wrong. <laughs> but it's, it's a very <coughs> tough one to call. We need, we need a decision on this one. I'm going England. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm going, yeah. I'm going I love England. the positivity, wow. yes. Put it up, I agree. Go on. Yeah. Yeah. Senegal Come on, is a tougher game, right? Come specs. on. Yeah. I mean, if it's um, Senegal, then... You spoke about yeah. the possibility of Argentina and Brazil. A little bit of a derby feel to Spain, Portugal, isn't there? Yeah, definitely. What um, do we think about that one? That's a tough one to call that. I think Enrique's got more actual. than Fernando Santos as a manager. <clears throat> I think the game, the, the, was it the Spain-Italy um, game in the Euros where Spain tactically got the better of mm. Italy, but they lost the game. I think Spain have got too much off the ball maybe to open up Portugal. It's going to be tight though because we've seen Portugal playing quite a narrow midfield. Yeah. Spain looked to get bodies in there. Could be a Morata off the bench job. He's been so effective this tournament. Why not? What do you think, Specs? Oh, it's penalty shootouts. Penalty oh, shootouts. 50 50. There could be a lot of penalty shootouts. We've seen a lot of games, especially at nil yeah, nil. Yeah, at yeah. half time, be nil nil. You think there could be a lot of. I just think there's a story shootouts. here with Ronaldo. There's a story here. <coughs> What's this the story? That like Ronaldo he brings out a movie. <laughs> yes. And then he asks me to act it. <laughs> <laughs> I, could just, I, could, I could just see it. Who are you playing in it? Uh, I'll be. Who would I play? Uh, probably his, 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 his physio or something. <laughs> Important part. <laughs> All right, here we going through then. So you're, you're, you're going. I gotta go Spain. I think Spain and go Portugal. Just <laughs> oh, to make it difficult for us. What are we gonna do? You you Portugal. Portugal. This, this is tough. Uh, you're going Spain. You're going yeah. Portugal. I think this is very tough. I think Spain probably just edge that. You agree with that? But I mean, a toss of a coin. This one, isn't it? Yeah. Gonna, we don't have a coin on us. I'm going Spain. I tell you what, though, look at that mouth watering semi finals. <laughs> this is big. Spain, England, it's a big Argentina, game for Brazil. Argentina, Brazil, huge rivalry in, in this. We've seen the meeting, of course, qualifying, Copa mm. Americas. Um, that would be one oh, that's, big that game, wouldn't good. it? Semi final. That would be absolutely. The atmosphere will be who absolutely wins? insane. Argentina, it's easy. See, I think Brazil beat Argentina. Wow. Specs, what do you think? Do you not think squad wise Brazil, Brazil have be, more I, I squad think Brazil wise. beat Argentina convincingly here. I, I think Argentina have, have got their number. I really do. Yeah, they they after the Copa, the Copa I know America. what you mean. Historically, that recently they have. Yeah, I just think it's it's one of those things where Argentina were just horrendous against Neymar. Then they got six bookings in the Copa final, all challenges on Neymar, but it was different players. Yeah. And that gamesmanship, it, it feels like Argentina, they'll build, they'll grow into the tournament. I think they started very, very poorly. Don't get me wrong. I just feel it's it's. Do you remember that time, time. When, Brazil, when Brazil played Germany and Germany yep. gave them seven? Brazil was still hurting from that. No, seriously. <laughs> no, no. So I, I feel like they're, they're really going for it. They, they could. Like, again, you think the Neymar situation, he's going to come back into Ooh. a team and have to start and have to do, you know, have to be the guy. 
and his ankles. I, I, I agree, Argentina have got a great thing. Do you think there's less reliance on one player in Brazil? I mean, Neymar is obviously their best player, but they've got so much option off the bench if he doesn't play. Whereas Argentina with Messi are so reliant upon Messi and a few players. Do you think that they're overly reliant on fewer individuals than Brazil who have more strength and depth? Yeah, but also you, you saw the game that Neymar played. They, they played everything through him. And, it, and Brazil looked quite poor in a sense. They were too central. They weren't getting the wingers into play. Vinicius Jr. was the best player on the pitch. Starved of possession because they were going Neymar every single time. You want to make I, a don't, then? I don't think decision. I don't think Messi has got a similar issue where he can move out and play and so forth. They've so. just they've just, just no, no 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 we're not doing that. <laughs> I'll tell you, I can't beat Brazil. No way. What do you mean? Got Let's decision. give Dave this side. Then you can take this side. Who's, Ooh, wow. who's winning out of the England Spain game? Uh, England Spain semi final. <sighs> I'm gonna go England. England, Ooh, you think England get the job I done England there? Spain. If England meets Spain in the semi-final... Keep the positivity, Joe. What I are you saying? England. I mean, I just... England have struggled against the bigger nations. Badly. And, you know, we, we've got them beating France it, it and is Spain speed. here at this World Cup. It is speed Spex's kills. board. Speed, not speed, yeah, speed, We're speed. only here to adjudicate speed. if there's a disagreement. Dave, you happy with Spex's choice of England to beat Spain? Because you've got Argentina? No, yeah, that, that's no absolutely fine. You could pass all day. No, that's fine, yeah. But Bellingham is going to run right past you. Sterling, Rashford, Foden, they're going to... Uh, for me, I think England, up, then, is it going on? Yeah, England, up, England going final. Final question, then. Who is lifting what the why trophy? Is, why is Argentina there, by the way? <laughs> Specs is not happy. Argentina, Brazil. Well, if this happens, England win the World Cup, by the way. Who, who is winning the World Cup now? You've, you've both sort of agreed on Argentina, England. If, th- if that happens, Dave, England are winning the World Cup. Messi, legacy. He walks, he walks around too much. <laughs> <laughs> but in his pocket, just but he's, he's not performed yet at the World Cup. He's going to wait to the knockout stages to start putting a ball in the back of that. Already scored twice. I'm telling you this. Lisandro Martinez at the back. Go if on. He, if he's played. Harry, Harry Kane, man. Spex Harry is getting ready for a clip, clippable moment here. T- ben White is going to be upset that he left. <laughs> I'm telling you. So England are going to win this World Cup. <laughs> If they meet Argentina. If they meet Brazil, no chance. You think that, so you think Brazil will beat England, but Argentina wouldn't beat England? Yeah, Argentina... Like, I love the said, positivity. Were, like, I think if, I think if Spex is willing to say England will win the World Cup, yeah. we should put England up. <laughs> Honestly. Messi will miss a lot of free kicks over the bar. Frustrate the team. <laughs> That's it's a great point. Rashford. Put him up, Spex. Put him above the Spex, are you, are you getting the final say then? Yeah, so we're saying England to the final. Yeah. We're saying that. There's another magnet. <laughs> Pick it up anywhere you want. It is coming home then. So there we have official confirmation... Specs, put it on. Just, Wait, below, just below it. Yeah, yeah. Where'd you yeah there. Yeah. England oh to win the World Cup. There is confirmation of how the group is going to go, how the knockouts are going to go, how every game is going to go. England are going to win the World Cup. Keep the positivity, Out against Joe. Senegal on Sunday. <laughs> Actually, I've just realised Specs said Senegal to beat England, yeah. but thinks England so will win the World Cup. Yeah, so that means yeah. whoever wins this game wins, wins the, the World, World Cup. Cup. I like yeah. it. Uh, time for a very quick... Let us know what you think about that at home. Time, keep the positivity, everyone. 